the rough sports your kids play lead to memory loss or worse? Your parent, I'm sure you were concerned about that. Absolutely. Yes. Some doctors are sounding alarms after a new report on a rise in sports-related concussion in kids. The American Academy of Neurology reports ER admissions for young athletes with sports-related concussions doubled between 2000 and 2005, and the damage can lead to long-term problems. Kids between 8 and 14 are most at risk. They're calling for more safeguards. New guidelines say kids who take a knock to the head should be checked immediately for signs of concussion and removed from the game until a doctor clears them to play. The doctor's group is also calling for a medical professional to be on hand at all high-risk games. Now, here to talk about this, it's a big topic getting a lot of press these days, is Dr. Christopher Giza, pediatric uh, neurologist at UCLA who treats kids who suffered concussions and he helped draft the new guidelines. We'll talk about that in a second. And also Dr. Keith Fader, an orthopedic surgeon who's been volunteering on the sidelines of high school football games since 1994. Let me ask you, since you helped draft the guidelines, what are we yes. talking about here? Well, I think the most important aspects of the guidelines are that individuals who've suspected of having a concussion should be removed from play and not return that day, but only after medical clearance. Remove that day. You're on the sidelines. Are you seeing that happening? Uh, we've seen it for many, many years. I've actually been doing it since 1989. Tell kids get off. I've seen hundreds of concussions, literally. Yeah. And uh, as soon as a kid does sustain a concussion and show the signs of a concussion, they're pulled from the game. We immediately begin to treat them, actually, uh, reevaluate them, get them back into the office, and... Uh, see them recover before they return to play. I know it's really serious, but I think parents want to know what high-risk sports are we talking about? Because it's not all sports. No, um, the highest-risk sports are football, mm -hmm. uh, wrestling, hockey. Those are the highest risk. And then and soccer, so I heard, too. Soccer and basketball are close, you know, sort of second-tier risk for concussion. Absolutely. Do you think that kids know they might have a concussion or it might be really serious? Because I know the big issue has always been is kids just want to get back out there. They want to play so badly. I think the other aspect of the of the new guidelines, the new uh, position statement, is that um, education of the athlete and the family and the coach mm -hmm. is extremely important because many of the athletes that I see um, don't recognize that they had had a concussion. Yeah. And when I ask them if they had prior concussions, they might say no until I explain to them what a concussion is. And it turns out, oh, they've had two or three other concussions that they might not have been aware uh, of. Well, we have a graph to show you what the symptoms are. Let's take a look at that. Headache, dizziness, confusion, nausea. Blackout. Now, Dr. Fader, you volunteer at schools. Are you finding that you're having to educate coaches, kids, parents as to the seriousness of this? Well, that's, that's exactly true. We have actually have a staff. We actually cover 22 high schools and take mm -hmm. care of 13,000 kids. And we have staff at each game, and they are first educated. And then, obviously, the coaches, the parents, the principals, athletic trainers are all educated as well. But are you finding any resistance with parents? Uh, not ex no, because especially in the last couple of years, it's become such a high-profile issue, yeah. and now we've found that there's ongoing issues and ongoing problems. If it's not treated properly, they become much, much more receptive. Mm -hmm. And Dr. Giza, give us one last word since you set the guidelines. How serious are we talking about? We're talking about dementia, and I know you have a nine-year-old. You told us stop playing a sport. Yes. Well, I think that what we don't know is that how how vulnerable are the younger brains when they have this kind right. of injury, and so. Um, the cumulative injury uh, could, be, could be worse. There could be earlier onset of dementia. Mm -hmm. um, the recovery could be more longer in younger individuals. So I think we need to be more careful and be more conservative with the younger athletes, particularly the grade school and junior high school. Okay, thank you both. Parents, take note. Very serious issue here. Appreciate your time, guys.